Hey, it's Friday. Do you know where your IT pros are? We don't. Hit add and switch. And now the two guys who put strange in a strange new world. Here they are. Pat and switch. But are we, are strange we live? New world? Are we live? Uh, yeah, I don't live. know if the camera switched. I got a delay going on here. Uh, I have I have a strange a strange buzz or hissing or white noise in yeah. in my ears. I hear noise as well, man. What's that? I don't know. Is that us? Is it, is is it, it another amazing audio stream startup chat? Are we good? Is that it? Can you hear us? Or is that you know? It, it's it's Steve. Is it? Steve's no, messing there's around. Nothing. There's nothing in the. In... Is it? Okay. This it's, is the stream sounds it good. Starts. It's like we have to do an audio check, right? Like we can't. We we have to double check with the audience in the room. <laughs> Are we working? Can you hear us? Are we in laggy sync stuff? Also. You know what I don't understand? What, man? So there's a show that apparently hijacks this very same channel every other week. It's called Testing yeah. a Production. Yeah. They don't have these problems. Oh, I yes, know. we do. Oh, yeah. yes, we do. We yeah. have so, lots of problems. I was about to say, I think they need to work out the bugs of this show in that show <sighs> and then make it so this one is working correctly. It's they've, working. They've, they've, they haven't fine. figured out that we're the important show on this network. I know. We're the one that makes the money. We are. We're the one that people sponsor. I like. So I heard. Uh, actually, uh, it sounded Joey like you were uh, cutting out at the top end, like you were being clipped. Being clipped. All, all I heard was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't hear the. I didn't hear the uh, train. Flo heard it. Yeah. Jay Flo heard it. Oh, well, I don't know. Okay. Could've, anyway. It could have been. It could have been Cooper. <laughs> it was Cooper. Good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good good evening. Very very good evening to our friends over on the the side of the earth where it's evening. Uh, and and hello to TRP eighty four seventy two who's in chat. Um, it looks like uh, oh TRP eighty four seventy two nodded his post. He's changing his post. He's changing his post to a new real, new uh, allocation. Looks like Appar apparently the 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 empire has decided to move him so he is no longer standing in front of the Millennium Falcon. Yes. I don't know where he's going to end up. I hope I hope not on the forest moon of Endor, guarding that door because that's I, that never ends well. I bet you they're finally putting security around the garbage chute. Yeah, yeah, they're awesome. gonna make it so you can't get to the trash compactors anymore. <sighs> you know what though? I mean, if you if if you're visiting the Death Star, it's like one of the first places you want to go. I know. It's like oh, I remember this place. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Uh, again, hello uh, to uh, the main man, uh, the main man, Mr. J. Flo, and of course, Cooper. Uh, J. Flo heading to the Seattle area very, very soon. Oh, nice. Uh, it's uh, been a long time since he's moved out east. It'd be good yeah. to see the guy. Are you available again. Wednesday, J. Flo? Because I need somebody to take notes in my session. Just asking. OK, uh, let's see. Uh, Kowski. Work related stuff. Nice. Yeah, well, you know, Kowski's yeah. in the house. Yeah. Uh, Phil's here. Uh, Absa Blog and Lutley is here. He he has no buzz. Yeah. Uh, there is no buzz. <laughs> here, vodka. I mean. So it, does that technically mean that this show is buzzkill? Is that what it is? And that's it for it. another episode of the Passion I'm Session. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm out. I'm out. I'm, I see. See now that, that I can actually well, see the, the the video stream, uh, I see what you mean. I do have too much headspace up above. I should tilt the camera down. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I told mm -hmm. you that. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. That's all so right. Should I do it now? Is it gonna like really mess Stop. things up? Stop. 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 Yon, might... Yon is here. Uh, Vizio MVP. Uh, saying Joey being clipped at the top end, is that a tall joke? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we've lost my co-host. Uh, look, he, I don't even... He's making... I hope... Yeah, he's making the audience sick. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> uh, DEFCON veteran is here in the house as well. Hey, hey is, is anyone in chat... Is anyone in chat... Did, did you go to the MMS... Mall of America show. 
Am I the only one who has serious fear of missing out as it was an in-person event? And I've seen a lot of the the Twitter folks just a buzz of, of an in-person event. <laughs> My camera looks completely sideways now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Why can I? I, had, I seriously had fear of missing out. A hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent on that. I just was curious if anybody in the, but probably if you were at the show, you're probably not in chat because you're either still at the show or you're transporting back. Uh, your transporters are, are on. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. The transporters don't work, so they got to. They've got to take shuttlecraft. It takes a little longer. Uh, Jan better? is saying uh, likes the fireplace. Is, it, is this better? Sure. Is it too 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 low now? Uh, I think. Mean, look, I think I think we just need to at some point have a show. That yeah. You know, let, let me bring it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so about that testing and production show. <laughs> uh, J Flo, I had a moment earlier this week about missing IRL events. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Defcon veteran, how do we feel about Elon buying Twitter? I mean, how is it going to make Twitter even? Yeah, I'm no no comment. No comment. Yeah. I think we're good. Uh, I got some stability now. Okay, nice. I've tightened my loose screws and <laughs> I'll 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 just live with this for now. I'll live with this. I yeah, I still have not gotten the right camera yeah, settings, I think. Did you really tighten the loose screw? Uh, I, <laughs> I I need to work on my the, as you said we were trying to work on my my uh, overexposure that's going on, but it's, you yeah. you look good in the stream. The stream looks good because I think it's being taken care of on the back end. Yes, I still it think is I look being taken care of on the back end, but it's not as yeah. good as it could be. Uh, so yeah. We were we started the show, yeah, and then you started messing with your camera, and it's totally thrown me off. Okay. Well, uh, normally we have five segments for the up. show with the with the first segment of you saying hello to everybody. So we finished off the segment with saying hello to everybody. Mm. Now it's the segment where we talk about from the trenches, what we're working on. Well, we haven't sense? we haven't randomly fallen off the tracks just in what's happened. Oh, yeah, we did. You you were adjusting your camera. You got and it. And screws loose. OK, got it. All right. Fair enough. Fair now enough, we're all caught up. Enough. Hey, what have you been doing this week? I have been preparing for the month of May, which is known in Microsoft speak as the world of connects, the world of uh, slidey bar exercises, mm. and uh, the world of trying to staff up my team because I still have interview loops and anything else like that going on. I'm trying to wrap them all up and get them all done. So, yeah, it's been a lot of managerial BS for me mostly. And as you can tell... From my surround, um, I also moved houses this week as well. And I paid people in pizza and beer, and some people showed up. And I do have to say thank you, Mr. Joey Snow, for pizza showing up and helping out. and a beer. Let's and be clear. A, it was pizza and a beer. But it was a Canadian beer imported that, well, that specifically true. for the first round of movers. That is, and, that is true. And we even had an unexpected guest of uh, Mr. J Shock show up and say hello. He did. He he I, I, he he sat there and chastised everything that we were doing, telling us it, we were doing it wrong. I don't remember him actually moving anything or lifting anything, but I remember the commentary that was going on. Well, I he he may have moved um, uh, a part of that the the rack that we took down in the garage so that I wasn't decapitated while moving the couches Correct. and beds out of the because yeah. you are ab abnormally so, tall. All right, have you have you moved everything out, or is there still stuff there? Oh, there's still stuff there. Oh, okay. um, we uh, I would say we are probably eighty five percent moved out of the old location. Okay. Uh, and uh, the majority of the stuff is now just located inside the garage, and we got smart, and we booked a mover to come and move the garage for us. I, I, well, so it sounds like there there's an opportunity just to have beer and watch them move. It's quite possible. I think so. So that'll be next Wednesday, uh, taking taking half a day on Wednesday to be able to finish that one off, I do believe. Oh, nice. So we'll see how it goes. Very nice. Well, good luck. But, good luck. Uh, yeah, the, the this is the new office. This this Actually, I, I can't... I, 
trust me, I do not want to pick up the camera and pan it around right now because I don't know what would work. Um, the, the, the new office is the equivalent of the uh, old lady formal sitting room that would normally have like two couches facing each other on opposite sides around the fireplace, both couches wrapped in custom fitted plastic. Um, that's what this room is right now. So I'm thinking you need a couple of, of red velvet chairs high back chairs high back chairs a a, a very oaky kind of small you know table to put between them like but but that that's got a lot of girth that's the only way to describe that type of table so like a big thick pedestal table or something like that exactly yes very girthy as and and and, uh a book a book that is bound that like it was bound in 1837 Oh, like like uh, like a leather bound uh, book that's like quite large. So we could exactly we could flip exactly um, okay. a smoking jacket. Yeah, you know, and, and a pipe. <laughs> it's, it's like, welcome to Masterpiece Theater. <laughs> Today's <laughs> episode, we should be talking Today with Mr. Be, Switch or is it Mr. Today we Patch? will be discussing hybrid server connectivity from the book of server, the book of Ned. <laughs> Please turn to page 432, <laughs> section 4 of the Book section of Ned. Four, paragraph 13, and we shall begin reading out loud. <laughs> That'd be a podcast I'd watch, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Dramatic reenactment and reading of the Book of Server. According to Common... <laughs> That's cool, man. I think we, I think we need to work something like that. I, 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 I obviously I've still got many boxes to unpack before then. But uh, I, my my wife helped me last night organize my shelf to get some stuff back in the shelf again, and she was saying that I need to now expand when I'm in the standing position. Uh, I need to expand to include stuff across the mantelpiece on the on the uh, oh on the fireplace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah possibly, possibly, yeah. I mean, I think it looks. I think it looks fantastic. I think it, it's you're a little washed out. We'll work on the lighting. We'll work on the lighting next time. You may you may need to to increase the distance of your the lighting. Distance? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think too, I think you're close? you're a little close. The the, oh. the throw the throw is not is not throwing correctly. Yeah. I mean, That's like a, even even my automated lights in the back there are kind of washed out. Yeah, I got to figure that out. We'll work on it. Maybe, perhaps it's the aperture of the camera. Mm. And maybe if you use oh, a yeah. DSLR. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm using the Elgato face cam right now, right? Hashtag not sponsored, but happy to be. Um, happy to if be. we ever had more it. than five viewers. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, apparently the words, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you didn't know, um, we, we do take three work safe words uh, for the program's title. Uh, this one being licorice hand training halo. Nice. Uh, and, uh, and and so if you use the command exclamation point word followed by your word, it gets added to the list and we'll pick it toward the end of the big program. Uh, JFlo saying there's dust on the lens still. No, no, no. no. Oh, oh, look, no. look. How's that? What? What? Oh, 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 hey. I brought hey. the exposure down a little bit. Yeah. You, you were a little overexposed? I was overexposed. Oh, that happens. Bring it down. Now more. I have to adjust. No, no, don't, don't adjust. Looks good. Looks good. Uh, let's see. Um, so you've been you've been managerial overhead this week. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I mean, you you said you were doing a bunch of managerial stuff, right? It was. I mean, it was it's managerial yeah. stuff. Stuff that was going on. Yeah. I've been preparing for the event that JFlow is coming for. There is a, uh, it's a special uh, invite only event that we're doing for our customers and partners um, where we get feedback. So it's not so much us, you know, doing big, long PowerPoint presentations. It's more um, five or 10 minutes of, hey, this is what we're thinking. And uh, customers and partners then give feedback going, oh, yeah, that sounds really good. Or, hey, have you thought about dot, 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 you know. Would, so would you call that an airlift? Uh, no, it's it's a we call it the customer and partner on-site event. CPOF. The POF. 
It's the Kapoff. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know where you got the, the F from. Oh. Cool. <laughs> You know, the pro, you know, I blame this. I blame my my level right now on Pierre Ramon for having me up early to do AZ update. I'm kind of flat. My timing is off right now. Are you a little flat? A little, yeah. little off? I need okay. I need an extra coffee. You didn't get a chance to make one because I was working on troubleshooting stuff. So uh, no, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. That's it's it's all good. It's all good. Okay. When you say so. Uh, uh, so yeah. So we've got we've got that happening in 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 two weeks time in a fortnight. <laughs> Uh, what else have I been working? Well, I mean, obviously it is the month of May, so I had to write my connect. Nice. And, and get that done as well as the, uh, <clears throat> the other overheady things that we do at the end, toward the end of our fiscal year, which, which is a mere two months away. Yeah. We're all, we're also gearing up for build coming up at the end of the month. And so a lot of the product oh. teams are currently getting their documentation updated, getting their demos finalized and recordings done and stuff like that. So they all have to get that all hurriedly working along to be able to get things finished up. And they also uh, tend to kind of squash all the uh, public announcements and conversations to make it so you've got like a, a month's worth of stuff that they just keep secret. And then they eventually reveal that build. Like the big that. reveal. Jan did mention it is Star Wars month. So uh, yesterday was Revenge of the Fifth, and of course there was May the Fourth. The Fourth. What's today? What's today? I don't. Is today? Is what's the the the, the Buzz Star Warsy thing today? Well, I was going to say not Star Warsy, but it's it's National Passwordless Day today. I think, isn't it? I think that was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that was yesterday. Oh, today is the Panic Buy for Mother's Day in North America. That is uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, Revenge of the Sixth today. Sorry. Okay, Revenge of the Sixth. Okay. I thought that was, but what is it? Uh, I thought yesterday was Revenge of the Fifth. Maybe it's Revenge oh, of the it's Sixth. Cinco de Mayo. Oh, yeah. Well, yesterday was Cinco de Mayo, but that's not really Star Wars-y. No. What's he doing? I did, maybe nachos or something? Cleaning up. I Maybe he, he his Egg McMuffin is finished and he's throwing <laughs> it away. I, I don't know. But I'm muted to stream, so thanks. Oh, nice. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Okay. All right. See, we don't know you can do these fancy things. We're not. Yeah. We're not. Oh, Jan, uh, Jan say today's Revenge of the Sixth because cis have two days. That's totally. Yes, you are correct. Why do they have two days? Well, because it, Rebel Scum only deserves one. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Uh, the, you know, speaking of the Star Wars, uh, the, the, the Fortnites did a Star Wars event. Did you hear about this? It was I did it's, not. it's awesome. I, I'm not sure if it's still. I assume it's still going. Uh, they enabled lightsabers, so so you can pick up some lightsabers. So they've got Kylo Ren's lightsaber. I saw Obi Wan Kenobi's. I saw Luke Skywalker's. I assume Darth Vader's is out there. I just never saw it. I never picked it up in the short time I played with it. But they also uh, brought in blasters, uh, in particularly a stormtrooper blaster. <laughs> now the best thing that they did with this is its accuracy is absolute trash oh yeah so you have but to fire like 50 so shots much fun yeah it is yeah it is so much fun so i went in i have a skin that i purchased uh, last year which is a a stormtrooper skin and i uh there are two locations where you need one of the tasks you need to do is land where these stormtroopers are, and there's two stormtroopers there. Well, what I did is I hang out there with the other stormtroopers because they wouldn't shoot the NPCs because they don't know if they're going to go aggro on them. So they kind of didn't pay attention that I didn't have the little chatty box over my head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'd wait for them to come to me, and yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd use the blaster, just you know. And half nice. the time I die because the blaster you can't hit anything, but it was amazing. Yeah, it 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 was it was really fun. But part of once you complete uh, some of these events around uh, around the uh, the Star Wars theming that was going on, is that they uh, then reward you with a banner, uh, which you can use. Um, and I of course picked the the Imperial banner. So yeah, it's now my permanent. I don't think it'll ever change. Well, at least not until they add another one. 
uh, <laughs> banner in in the Fortnites. So yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I've I've really enjoyed some of the Star Wars stuff. And did you did you see the trailer for the new Obi Wan series? Did you see the I, newly released trailer? I am still trying to get my internet working, my cable connected, and TV's Fair. happy. So Fair enough. no, I did not see it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Chat, have you seen the new Obi Wan trailer? I mean, I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, there were there were sections of it that were parts of the previous uh, trailer that was released, the little sneak peek to the um, like where Obi Wan is overlooking the ridge with his binoculars and he sees a very young Luke Skywalker. But I will say the best part of the trailer is probably the last three or four seconds of the entire thing, to which. At 7 a.m. when I was watching it, um, as I was having my morning coffee and just scrolling through, uh, I may have jumped up and and yelled very loudly, let's freaking go! But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Well, now I'll, I'll go off and uh, go find the said trailer to see what's going on up there. There's just certain things that they know how to do very well to set the stage of things and set their fans ravenous and well and, and so and I mean, listen, I'm not I'm not like the diehard who's read all the books and all the things and I know all the canon I'm pretty much you know sticking pretty closely to the to the movies some of the series by the way if you haven't watched um the bad batch series on Disney it's an animated series about a group of, of clone troopers uh it takes place the first episode is again you want to talk about how well they do this the first episode is it basically like an animated version if they took the camera in attack of the clones where they execute order 66 and they just pivoted it so so you've got the movie right and so all the same things are happening where you see like you know yoda coming down with the the clones and everything and somebody just took the camera and just just turned it just to a different perspective and that's how the series starts. It's just, yeah, Bad Batch is great. It's about a series of clone troopers that are kind of the elite uh, uh, star, uh, clone trooper squad uh, and some stories there. Great, great series there. But I, I don't watch all the canon. I don't I haven't watched the entire clone trooper animated series. There's just certain things that you just you cling on to because you see it and you're immediately transported back to when you were like nine, ten years old sitting in the movie theater for the 19th time to watch Empire Strikes Back. Um, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That's what that uh, it's kind of like at the end of Rogue One. I assume you've seen Rogue One and at the yep. end yep. Uh, with Darth Vader, right? It's very it, it has that moment of they really get it. Yeah. Nice. Anyway. I've sidetracked the whole, whole conversation. What were we talking about? Uh, well, we've, the, the stuff we do at work and basically oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah. end of year. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. I'm I'm just planning for an event that's happening, uh, doing connects. Um, oh, I, I have actually uh, we there's there is a new wizard that is in, in preview now. Um around turning on guest access reviews. So there is a video you can go out to to the YouTubes. Uh, and search for uh, M365 Setup Wizards or my name and 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 Wizard Conditional Access Wizard. Uh, Joey where Snow I would, Wizard on YouTube. Exactly. Or I could find the link and drop it in chat, which maybe one of our amazing mods or producers can do. Uh, yes, Jay Shock, I'm a wizard. Um, where I kind of go through setting up MFA for admins. Well, there's another one on guest setting up guest access reviews. Yeah. So you hmm. can look and see who has access, guest access, because, you know, with the proliferation of teams and other things where you're, you can invite folks from other organizations, yes. uh, you just look to see, hey, do we really need to have this person inside of the environment? And should we have a review that occurs I, every I 16, belong I to about five or six different environments that people have invited me to for various different reasons. And I wish yep. to heck they would uninvite me. Well, see, I'm the same it's way. It's really so annoying to have them all listed for when I'm trying to do something. So there's one that I am a member of that um, I have not done anything in over three years. Yeah, I know. So and I, I'm just kind of like... And I can't get rid of it. Uh, security guy? Uh, yeah. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Kind of strange. Uh, so, yeah. So there's that. There's that. I, I did get an opportunity to uh, hang out with the Pierre Roman mm -hmm. last week while he was... I believe he was, he was in... I didn't know he was in town. 
He was he was speaking at the PowerShell conference. Oh, the that conference, yeah. Uh, so so I I met up with him for a pint or two. Oh, nice. Or in our case, a pint plus because well we're mug club, so we get we get bonus. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it was good to see him. It was good to see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, these on uh, these these in person conferences that are happening are seriously giving me some fear of missing out. Like I was asking Chad if anybody had gone to the MMS event over at the Mall of Americas. Yeah. So is the event actually in the mall? I don't know, but that is, did we've been to the Mall of America in our previous lives? I'm pretty sure. I know. Like I I have never been to the I've I've only been to the Minneapolis airport. No, you. I'm pretty sure you and I have been to the Mall of America. When, like, literally, I want to say almost ten years ago. Um, I, I have never been anywhere in Minneapolis outside. Is there another of the mall that's like the Mall of America? That is in Dallas or in so in Houston. Houston? We went to the Galleria. Galleria. Oh, okay. And we, and we ice skated. That might be the Mall of America, isn't it? No, that would be the Galleria. It's in Houston. Yeah. You think I would know this because I lived there for like. 12 years, but yeah. Okay. So, so that is a very big mall. Yes, yeah. but it is not. The, nice. the mall of America would probably dwarf this. Okay. Yes. Uh, and, and so, um, yeah. Uh, where did I get lost? So yeah, I'm just curious if it was actually like, you know, can you like go grab a hot dog on a stick and an orange Julius and, and, and sit and watch a session? I, 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 I oh, don't know. You can go down to Julius go down to the man. hot topic and pick you up a, a sticker and a and an Iron Maiden t shirt and, yeah. and and catch catch Harjit doing a session yeah. all at one time. I saw Harjit was had taking a nap in some kind of really weirdly constructed uh, sleeping cocoon uh, hammock chair or something like that as his goodbye people. And they they all all the speakers get like um, plaid shirts. Yeah, lumberjack uh, shirts. Yeah, lumberjack shirts. Yeah. yeah. Because you're in Minnesota. Yeah. And uh, they, they have the thing where they, they have people present in pairs when they present. As oh, the, they do? Ev every single section is supposed to have two presenters as their their shtick that they do for that one there. You know, we presented together before. We could probably do it, but I don't know if we could get uh, a uh, lumberjack tuxedo with the patch and switch logo on it uh challenge accepted <laughs> hey honey <laughs> hey hey honey <laughs> we got some embroidery done yeah well i never know we should we should probably start talking again it's been so long i've been in management so long that i've lost the the panache being able to present i think i would I imagine I that you would do just fine and if only we had a the, the one thing we'd have to work on is a shtick yeah, I, we, we're not very good on stage together. Um, I mean, the timing yeah. is off. I don't know what it is. We yeah. can take solicitations from the audience for uh, topics, I think, or something like that. We could. Mm -hmm. We could. We could. We could. That could work. Uh, Jay Flo just posted a lumberjack plaid suit in chat. Oh, nice. Yeah. Otherwise known as it back back home, that'd be the Sarnia dinner jacket for Sarnia, Ontario. Is is Sarnia like Minneapolis where you have lumberjacks? It's it's where they it's big truckers and big log trucks and and up north there by the Georgian Bay up north. So yeah, it's it's Sarnia. So it's north of up north. North of up north, lots of mining towns up there as okay. well. Okay. Um, yeah, good stuff, good times. Patch good and time. switch in the stage could be hilarious. I mean, we've done a few presentations before, Jan. I don't know if we've ever seen it. I mean, we we actually have had a top ten rated session at a mm. tier one event. I mean, not not, not that I brag. track that, right? Yeah, not, not not to brag or anything, but yeah, no. it's been good. It does take a lot of planning and effort uh, to be able to do, but it can be done. I actually found some of her old stuff as I was going through the archives of Channel Nine, uh, and was able to find. The um, part one, part two of uh, oh. taking your on-premises skills into the cloud. Yeah. When you and I did some stuff. That was that was fun to see that one there go again. 
Was this the one happened. where you were propped up against the chair dying in Spain? No, they, they didn't record the European one. Uh, oh, okay. This was the North American version of that one. <clears throat> I wonder so. I wonder if we put out on our Twitter channels like a, a, a call for photographs from the uh, – was that Barcelona or was that Madrid? Barcelona. Barcelona. That was Barcelona. Yeah, from Barcelona the Barcelona. was when I had the fever. Yeah, the Barcelona event where, where Rick is propped up by a chair – profusely sweating yet still pulled off the demos of course that, that was impressive you have to do it man show that must was go impressive. on you were on total autopilot though yeah nice yeah see bless you jflo like i J don't Shop. know when uh, this goes out to the stream or not for him sneezing I, I and yelling either. at us i have no yeah. idea this I don't normally he put that on stream he doesn't. Yeah. He just put his. He, he he didn't put the sneeze on stream. Uh, okay. Shady as the panda drops in says I didn't go, but I believe it's not in the mall, but in a hotel attached to the mall. So my previous points about an orange Julius hot dog on a stick and an Iron Maiden T-shirt apply. Yeah, it could work. Because you could go over there. You could go over there. Uh, about, um, have, have you done any um, beer money work? Because I've done yes, a crap my own. ton of beer money work. My own, as of yeah. you. So, so you, I believe. So, so I'm a. I, I'm 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 a little hurt that that you did not call me when you needed networking setup at the new place. That you you brought Chuck. And, Chuck and was there. Nothing, nothing's wrong with Chuck. It's Ch just Chuck, that, otherwise known as Mister Double Ended Ethernet Cable. Correct. Versus your friend who knows how to, you know, wire and connect things. Yeah, but the, I, I will also state that I also had Bruce Cowper involved as well, who was really the guy doing the wiring, not us. Um, but I could have been there. Yeah. So, so basically in the house that we're renting, they actually have half decent structured wiring. Oh. Um, that every house, uh, every room in the house has a jack and for both RJ45 and coax, uh, in, in every single room in the house. It all goes up to the communications closet up on the second floor. Uh, and what's even better is the day before we moved in, I had Zipply Fiber go and hook up an ONT device on the side of the house. Ooh. And I'm like, I don't know how to get your ethernet cable from down there up to the structured wiring in the in the office. And he says, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. And I'm like, what, what do you mean? He says, come here, come here, take a look at this. Walks me outside, shows me the ONT box is going to go on the outside of the house. And then he shows me the phone demarcation point. He's like, Do you, are you going to be using a regular phone? I'm like, no, we're not going to use a line line phone anymore. He's like, I'll just splice into this and use this because there were two runs that were done off of that. It's RJ40. It's, it's, uh, it's Cat 5E that they're using for the cables. Yeah. And so one was wired for phone and one was simply an extra that was there. He patched into that, and then poof, Bob's your uncle. I had the internet going right up to the thing. So what we did for us was I took my communications closet 18-inch uh, rack or 19-inch rack, comms, comms rack, the half-depth one, and um, I'm like, how am I going to mount this? Because it's on the wall where the door goes and closes against the wall, and Bruce was like, just mount it above the door. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, that's brilliant. He's like, you don't need to look at the rack. And this way, if you have it down low, you are going to bonk your head on it. Not just Joey. Joey <laughs> would, would bonk his chest on it or something like that. So we actually, above the door, have enough space that we've put the 6U rack up there with my Ubiquiti device. And we even managed to um, punch a hole and run some cable down so it's nice and clean going into the box. There's no wires hanging around. The only thing that's missing is my UPS, because uh, that's a little bit heavy, and I haven't really come up with a location of where I can put that. And Bruce said, if you find the right stud in the wall, you could actually put a half-decent shelf up there to, yeah, yeah. to put your UPS up there as well. So that's this weekend's yeah. project, is oh, nice. uh, mounting the UPS for the wiring infrastructure. So chat, if you had the opportunity, so let's say for instance, someone was building a house, brand new house ground up, uh, cat six will be installed everywhere and in every room. Mm -hmm. Are there other connections that one should drop? Obviously added additional electrical into the office area, particularly because I use a lot of electrical given that half of my office is for office and work and the other half is for DJing. Um, 
What, are we, what would we do? So I'm looking at that that Ubiquity DM Pro, right, which I know are out of stock. That's the one that actually has the PoE. Right. I will get <clears throat> probably a 24-port switch as yeah, well. that many? Well, maybe I could go with the 16. I could probably go with the 16 in there. And then I would need a couple of smaller managed eights in my office, right? Just so yeah. that everything is, you know, where things can be segmented, they are segmented. Yeah. I, um, I, I run an, I run an eight, um, an eight managed unify switch here in my office. And then I've got these, the eight port upstairs as the main one upstairs for the, the, the jacks that I've got running right now. And then I think your biggest question is going to be, what's going to be your, your APs. So like for your, your access points, are you going so with the, the newer ones or the, the Wi-Fi 6s? That's what I was 6s? thinking. I was thinking I was going to get a couple of the Wi-Fi 6 ones um, and um, have a pre-wire done in, 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 in the ceiling, probably upstairs, and then maybe have one downstairs because they're, they're only like 100 bucks mm -hmm. to do a pre-wire. Yeah. And then, you know, you can just, you can just slap that, that AP up there. Um, I was looking at that the the wall mounted units that you have inside of the bedrooms because that also yeah. offers um, switch ports. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, uh, that's that's kind of what I've been considering. So, JFlow, the sixes are great. I have an LR and two lights, and you've got a. I mean, I'm looking at like a three thousand ish square foot coverage, maybe a little bit more because the patio does expand out beyond. Well, I'd have one outside. I, mm -hmm. I would have to have. Mesh or no, I mean, like you don't need to do mesh if you've got wires, right? The, Even if you have mesh, you want to have a wired backhaul back to right. your switch. So you're basically just getting better coverage on your on your Wi-Fi's. The sixes <clears throat> for Wi-Fi six, uh, they currently do not have the in-wall uh, Wi-Fi six versions of the APs available for general consumption. They're available for pre-order the pre-order special insiders yeah, yeah. and you get to order two of them and they're out of stock. Um, so that's uh, something I'm trying to consider to be able to go off and purchase, but they're out of stock. So I can't right now. Um, but honestly, so far so good for the ones that I've got, they just work. The in walls are nice. I like the fact you can get little mana switch on them if you wanted to. So, you know, part of me is just wondering like, with, would you would you still have would you still have some of the larger Wi-Fi six like UFOs if you've got the ones in the bedrooms or maybe that you would just have it downstairs to cover downstairs because upstairs is pretty much covered right with those in walls. I'm uh, upstairs is covered with the in walls because of the bedrooms um, strategically placed. Um, I do use the 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 UFO style if you will. Uh, one of them is um, at the back of the house, and one of them is in the basement. So I've got three levels. Right, so right, right. The basement media room downstairs has one of the UFOs still, but and, and I would, you know, <clears throat> I would either have it on the wall and have uh, have an Ethernet extension, you know, wired up through the wall since you can with a basically a low voltage junction box up there, or in the ceiling if you prefer to have it in the ceiling. Yeah, I would. I probably put them. I've got very, very tall ceilings in this in, in the new place. Um, so for those who don't know, I've actually I will be I will be moving soon. Uh, we are we are in the process of starting a house build. Uh, more details on that and where and everything else soon. But I need sunshine, and with the the benefit of 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 uh, being able to work pretty much anywhere, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be relocating for sunshine. Which kind of sucks because I'll miss my friend being just you know a couple blocks away. Though you're now further than a couple blocks away. Yeah. Uh, in in the new place, but uh, yeah, there's the the, the it, it's time. Uh, we've we've done the time here in the rain. You, ser and gray. you served your sentence out I, to its I completeness. Have. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. The, I have. The 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 link that uh, J Shock put in. Not J Shock. It was um, J Flow. J Flow. Sorry. Uh, is to the new wall-mounted version of the uh, Dream Machine Pro. Uh, it's called the Dream Wall, which is quite cool looking. Hang on, I have to log in. I have to log in and take a look at it, but uh, 
basically it's just like a, a wall mounted uh, area. We've got some switch capabilities, the interface for the for the power button, stuff like that. Kind of cool. But it's, holy crap, it's like eight hundred dollars US. Well, but is that cheaper than doing like the individual pieces that you need to? No, if you the Dream Machine Pro is not that expensive. It's a rack mount. It's ugly, but it's a rack mount. But it does have built-in access points in there, <clears throat> so it has an AP built-in. It's kind of like a think of think of it like a flattened version of the uh, speaker-looking thing, like the Alien um, access control point. I'll have to have a, I'll have to have a look at that. I I can't. I, I'm having issues with my login. Surprise! Yeah. I can't remember my password. But yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Either way. Yes, we are absolutely ubi uh, ubiquity junkies, uh, sponsored, not sponsored, but can be, uh, <laughs> and would be happily talking about days and days and days of stuff with regards to ubiquity stuff. So the reason <laughs> I need a lot of the ports is that I have a number of devices like for lighting and such that, yeah. that, that sit here and... Everything. The reason I was thinking I needed a bigger port is because everything's plugged into my office. So the little, the poor little eight port switch that I have here is just completely overworked because everything sits in my office. But once I get everything up in a, in mm -hmm. a single closet, I think I, I would bet between, I would bet a sixteen port managed switch would be just fine, would be just, just fine for that. Yeah. And then, absolutely need to have an access point outside. Of course. The covered patio. Um, just in case you got to go off and like um, do a DJ set by the pool or something. Well, there's not going to be a pool at the house. No, there's there's one in like literally uh, in the, just down the street in the, yeah. in the neighborhood, and there's yeah. like seven in the community. Uh, so, and and plus, what was I? I think I read something like you're going to spend thirty percent of the pool's cost in management and maintainment or something. It's like crazy. Not worth it, not, not worth not it. Worth it for me. Not worth it for me. Not worth it for me. Um, I, uh, what about what about I, TV connections? Oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, Jared. I was just gonna say I have a special um, Wi-Fi router that I bought for my RV that I can then connect to other uh, access points when I park at uh, campgrounds. Like oh, uh, there uh, there's one in uh, Madonna, North Dakota called Red River Campground, but they are on the fiber links. And when I was there last fall, I was getting 300 down, 300 up on the Wi-Fi. Oh, nice. Wow. Because <laughs> they're nice. directly connected because the backbone fiber goes through their property and they get links off that backbone. <laughs> Shady Sapanda, that's a brilliant idea. Uh, he, he says, if I was going to build a house, I would try to get empty conduit runs to each room for future expansion or new cable types. Mm -hmm. that's, that's actually, I wonder how much that would, I, it can't cost that much. Just Smurf tubes, right? Just I mean, Smurf tubes. Yeah. To be able to do it, just have to build, get the holes made, have them plummet for you, and then definitely make sure they they drop the fish line in it. <laughs> true, true. Um, what about so so for TVs, right? Um, are people now just pretty much doing everything via Ethernet? Streaming devices, Ethernet to TV, either the built-in OS, which kind of sucks, or else the Roku device, right? I mean, I I will probably uh, well, I have no choice because there we don't the, the fiber company is the cable company, so you yeah. do get fiber Ethernet, but it's it's the cable company. It's not it's not Xfinity. It's the other one. Uh, but uh, Wire Connect, tell them to set it up for Central Vac and use those runs as conduits. That's a good idea. Nice. Um, Xbox, yeah, cables, yeah, cables, yeah. So having a place where you can, you know, have cables that run in the wall, like HDMI cables, that that might be a thing I need to do is have a couple of HDMI terminators, like yeah. one particularly at the TV at the fireplace, uh, and probably one in the wall upstairs in the in the game room, so that you can. Any, we're we're under attack. I've got both dogs on high alert right now. Oh, is there? Are there? Is, is the UPS guy around? Is I, that what's happening? I don't know. I, and again, I haven't set up my ring cameras as of yet on the new house. So that's this weekend's project. So you have no idea what's happening? Yeah. Unless they're ringing my doorbell. Uh, hey. 
TRP8472 hardwired is faster. I try to encourage friends to run two to four Cat 5E to each primary setup location for a TV or a desk, laptop, dock, PC, home phone, wireless, AP, et cetera, et cetera. Fair enough. So two Cat 5 runs to the TV area. I'm trying to think, I mean, because you do have, have you seen the, you've seen the little um, switches that, um, they're they're relatively inexpensive, like thirty bucks or twenty twenty thirty bucks. The the Unify switches. Um, yeah. JFlow turned me onto those um, that you can put back behind a TV if you've got multiple devices, right? That because the TV is going to want to connect to the internet, the Roku device, which is what I use, and then uh, who knows Cat Seven at this point? No, Cat Seven. It's too because Cat Seven has a different connection. I I don't believe it's a standard connection. If 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 memory serves me correctly um so yeah those those it's, usw it's, flex it's kind of the same argument that everyone always has about you know the old days of oh you never need more than four megs of ram right <laughs> you always need more bandwidth i think you need to run fiber do do fiber pairs to every single room in the house that would be amazingly expensive of course but you know it's you're not going to obsolete it it's only money it's like think of it like you know, if you think of it like the laser discs, people still use laser discs on their players. True. Yeah, they're called That's CDs really one and of the DVDs. Only places. Yeah. Yeah. Stick Betamax. Uh, that I love. I love it. That chat is like basically like I. We don't care how much it costs. Just do it like this. Mm. Fiber conduit. Well, nice. And and JFlow is right. Fiber isn't expensive. It's the terminations. You are right. Yes, correct. Yeah. <laughs> fiber optic connections to every bedroom. They, when you're limited, so fiber running into every bedroom, and then your 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 max up and down is one gig. That's yeah. that's just that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I was curious. I was curious. I know I sidetracked, <sighs> but that's my beer money, right? Because that's that's. I mean, random spending so, in there as well. Eventually, I'm going to have to buy this stuff. So yeah. For me, literally, it's simply getting the infrastructure in my house up, getting my office set up. Like, out of frame right now, I've still got boxes all over the place. Having to rebuild the infrastructure of my Ring cameras. I was going to go with Unify cameras, but I decided to stick with Ring, um, even though I've got the Unify infrastructure, just because of I don't have the wiring to be able to get to where the cameras need to go externally. So that wouldn't work for me. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, then, uh, so I've gone with the Roku's on my de TV devices As um, I, I'm for, a big for there. Yeah. But my my wife did uh, insist that we re hook up at least one cable box in the house. So we do have cable once again. So I'm like, okay, if we're gonna go cable once again, then we need to reduce the amount of streaming services that we happen to have. So. <clears throat> I'm trying to see, is there an app for the new cable service that I have down in the new place? For what? Well, so I don't actually have cable. I, while I have cable TV, I don't actually have it running in my office here. I use right. a, a Roku TV, um, which is Roku built in. And so I need the I need the app. It does. They do have an app. They do have an app for, for Roku, I believe. I hope. Mm -hmm. I hope there's a Roku. Hey, is there uh, an app for Roku? Uh, oh, not available for that. Dang it. Hey, Rick. Uh, yes? uh, you, you just had an offer from Wired Connect. Have drill bits will travel. <laughs> oh, nice. We're doing some more wiring. <clears throat> anyway, anyway. Uh, so apparently, can we talk about the random spending that you did while we were sitting out there with a moving truck and like four Amazon dudes come walking up with packages? Potentially. I mean, it's just you need a lot of stuff to restart again. So so my I, favorite, my favorite was the situation with the lighting that 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 killed me. I, <laughs> I basically went in and replaced and I'm no longer going on the Philips Hue bandwagon. I've now switched over to the Casa bandwagon. So I have a number of different Casa light bulbs and Casa dimmer switches and Casa regular remote control switches. They all use regular Wi-Fi. I've got a separate Wi-Fi SSID specifically set up for the IoT devices. Um, and uh, yeah, more light bulbs keep on coming as we need them to be able to go off and fill up different things. Uh, th there's a large number of pot lights in this house. So they all literally had five different brands of light bulbs inside of them. And I'm like, screw it. 
Amazon order like one standardized brand and one color scheme for all of the light bulbs in the house. And I used my tall friends to my advantage to have them go and replace all of the light bulbs. I think How many I probably light ordered bulbs like you five light bulbs or something like that for this damn place. Yeah. That would, I, 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 I'm like, what are all, why do you need, and, and you're like, Every so in the place, almost every can light was a different bulb, correct? Yes, I had a combination of CF, uh, the uh, the old fluorescent tube style coils. Oh yeah. I had I had incandescent, I had LEDs, and I had a whole range of different colors of all of them, which was horrible. Uh, so we now standardized on them all, and uh, I'm starting to get them up to date. Uh, I still need a couple of switches I got to wire off to be able to mix them up a bit. And um, go from there. I, I, oh, I did see determine. That, yeah, go ahead. I see that CAS has finally uh, developed light strips. Yes, they got light strips. Uh, and um, it's it's not bad for an ecosystem. The app app works well. They are controllable by a variety of different things. And the fact I like is you don't have to have any kind of a hub. Yeah, so, so I, I, I have the CAS uh, um, in particularly for all of the power, uh, like the outdoor um, powering so uh, it powers waterproof uh, switches you can use. Yep. Yeah. So when the when the, when the holiday lighting is up, um, or when uh, so in the backyard at the deck, so it turns on and off both the the lighting on the on the deck itself for the stairs, right? Because we have the lights so that you can see the stairs going down, and then we have yep. you know the fancy lights that are hung, the, the string lights that are that are up above. I'm I'm a big fan of that. Um, and and it works great. Like one one uh, of the outlets is clear over on the other side of the house and it just oh yeah okay here you go so it works yeah definitely so happy it, we've done the castle light bulbs uh ring cameras are going up this weekend as i mentioned uh i got the ring doorbell installed already at least so at least that part there is done which is good uh, i did do a random spending because of the new larger downstairs family room that's going to be the media room and i bought myself i splurged and got myself the, one of the new sonos arc um sound bars Oh, that's oh, nice. I want to. Did you get the sub with it? I did not get the sub with it, but I took two of my older play ones and have them now as the rear channel in there. OK, so so, so I can have, now have, do Dolby Atmos downstairs. Have you, have you tested, though? Have you tested? I'm curious. I, I'd like to know your your take on if the subwoofer is required, because so is this in the downstairs area or upstairs? Yeah, downstairs area. I don't okay. feel that it is like. It, it's uh, it's impressive. It's got full body sound. Now, I'll, I'm going to truly test it out this weekend after I'm done moving when I'm going to binge watch a couple of F1 seasons down there. Season on the brink, yeah. I, I have not uh, been following with that uh, particular series in quite some time. Speaking of fun, Miami race this weekend, mm -hmm. uh, apparently uh, in chat, chat's been talking about the fake marina that they built. Oh, yeah. In Miami, uh, the, if you want to be on a yacht and not go anywhere, uh, Jan said that if you want to be a yacht, but still not move anywhere, uh, Formula One Miami GP track fake marina. But here, here's the fun thing. Like when you go look and when they're on Abu Dhabi and some of the other places and they have all the boats tied up there, th those boats don't go anywhere either with people on them. Just just the crew. Yeah, it's just, just the crew. The, go. Yeah, it's nice. just the crew. Yeah. Nice. Um, so I'm very curious to know if you feel uh, the other thing you should watch the fifth element. Oh yeah. So that's one of the, there, there's a couple of movies that, that I use for, for, for reference yeah. testing. Reference testing. <laughs> yes. So there's the fifth element, particularly, you know, the scene, uh, the opera scene. Yeah. And then war of the worlds, the Tom Cruise version. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a scene where you first hear the aliens and they, they are attacking the first time the aliens attack. That is another reference, particularly for low end. Um, yeah. But you, yeah, let me know if you watch the fifth element, watch that scene, turn it up. Let me know if you, because I've been on the fence about the arc and because <clears throat> I want the sub, I, I want the sound bar. I just don't know if I have to wait to get it until I can put it in the budget to also get the subwoofer. Yeah. So the, the, uh, I also bought the, the dream with the the smaller version that they have too, uh, for the upstairs TV, um, the beam, sorry, the beam, the two. beam, yes, the, the beam, beam second generation, the beam second generation also does Dolby Atmos as well. Uh, and so that's upstairs in the living room area. So we have two, we've got the living room area and then we've got the downstairs media room area. So, 
Uh, I have yet to actually fully set them up. They've only got the bare bones basics in there right now. Um, so we shall I, see. I'm also considering doing some of the in ceiling ones. Oh yeah. For rear speakers, uh, in in the 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 main area in the in the new place. The 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 biggest problem that I have is. The main area where we're going to be watching everything is a massive open space. So yeah. it goes from the the living area to the dining area to the kitchen. It's all one big open space, which I love because, you know, when you're going to have friends over and stuff, it's nice to have. Nice to know, entertain. Yeah, exactly. And uh, but it's not the best for ideal soundscaping. Yeah. Yeah. For that one there, you're going to. Well, you're either going to be going with the in wall slash in ceiling ones or. You're going to end up with a pair of stands with uh, small speakers on them, which could be unsightly. But but upstairs, upstairs, the you know, it's a loft area. But again, it's an open area. But you could do the in ceilings for the rear um, because, you know, remember, rear sound is not you're not pumping. You know, it's it's not that imperative that you have. Uh, them down close to the ears and so on right. and so forth because it's really there just to fill in and, and give dimension, right? To give open space. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's something I'm looking at. All right, I completely I, sidetracked. We I, completely just derailed everything on the show. Well, that's normal, but I, I do. Mm -hmm. I have a question. I'm looking at trying to find a 5.1 head unit I can put into my RV because it's already wired with 5.1 speakers. Oh yeah. I just need the head unit was so old. Um, I need a head unit that's more modern, maybe has Bluetooth and stuff in it. So that's, I'll just, uh, I, I know Joey's always on the look for stuff. Uh, uh, just put that in your mind if you come just, up with it. So, so head, head, uh, you know, not, not sponsored, but Crutchfield. Crutchfield. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Plug in what you have, mm -hmm. where it's going, the model, etc. They will provide you with recommendations nice. and they will send you a free install kit. Um, oh no, I meant, uh, I'm sorry, a, uh, not, uh, so the speakers and everything are house speakers, the house speakers in the RV, not Oh, the... you need a receiver. Yes. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. If, and you're just going to do five one. Cause that's all that's built into the RV. Uh, I got you, dude. Okay. I got you. Talk we'll to talk. me. I've got one. I'm trying to sell. We'll talk. Oh, it, it's, oh. it's older, but it's amazing. Okay. $1.380. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'll take it in lieu of payment for the show. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk. Uh, it's not $1.380 a show. It's $1.380 a freaking year, just so you know. <laughs> I see. Oh, man, I tell you. Don't, some people. Dude, that bad time to tell them that when we're in the middle of a show. Mm. And that's the end of the show today. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. All right. Yeah. We saw yeah. two minutes. I'm so Random talking. spending has been kind of crazy. Um, beer money has been kind of crazy. Hoping things settle down and then finish back off on some work stuff. Uh, beer talk. Uh, the, I believe it is the Vienna lager at Very home nice. base. Very have nice. You, have you had it yet? That's all I've been drinking each time I've been there. Okay, I just want to make sure because I, I walked in. They only and, made and, four kegs of it, so they're almost done their kegs. Oh, then lunch? Mm, I know, eh? <laughs> uh, so I went down, uh, walked in, and, and Scott behind the bar was, uh, you know, I, I'm like, I'd like the Citra, and he goes, any points? And I go, I'd like the Citra, any points? Yeah. And I go, I'd like the Vienna, please. And he yes. says, that's what I thought. That's better. That's what you want. So yeah. you've got to love it when you can't order what you think you want to drink. You're no, basically the, told the by the staff. will tell you what you have to drink. You know, and I'm like, hey, can I get a sample of the, uh, of, of the? I, I don't remember what it was. And he's like, no, you don't want that. <laughs> I go, what? He goes, yeah, it's this, this, and this. I don't think you'd like it. And I'm like, well, you know me. So I'm not going to argue with you, even if it's a sample. No, he's like, no, nah, you don't want that. Okay, fine, fine, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, J Flo said he's going to be there every day when he's in town. Nice. Uh, hopefully, you're there from Tuesday to Thursday because they're close. Well, Sunday and Monday they are open. It's just different. It's not different, man. It's good. They have that, that cascade pizza. That's awesome. The food it, the pizza oh, I is been. really damn good, man. Yeah, I'm, do, I'm do impressed. Need to go? Yeah, we yeah. need to go. And then all yeah. the beers are available, right? All, it's all the same, except you, you are being served by usually. Um, Dr. Whitaker, crew, right? It's a different Dr. Crew, Whitaker. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I mean, 
I'm not opposed to Sunday Funday Pizza Run. Just saying. Yep. Just saying. Hey, uh, it's time to, to pick words. We have three work safe words that you have been voting on by using the exclamation point word command all throughout the big program. So, uh, that Mr. Is correct. We've got uh, J Shock. Oh, we've got lots of words this week. There are lots of words. Uh, that voters. will be the name of next show. Lots of words. Uh, we have uh, Cosmos Noise, Book of Ned, According to Carmen, Star, Lumberjack, Smurf Tube, Girth, nice. Expand, Washed Out, Overexposed, Fireplace, Episode A, Wizard, FOMO, Mall of America, Rain, and Light Bulbs. You know, I'm thinking we have to go with Book of Ned, Girth, Smurf Tube. Book of Ned, Girth, and Smurf Tube. Those are significantly more than uh, three words. No, because Book of Ned's one word. All one word. Girth yep. and Smurf Tube is one word. Yep. Okay. If you say so. So we've got our three words. So we've got our three work safe words for our program, which is happening in a fortnight's time. Um. J Flo, are you still here on that Friday? Are you no, still around? He, he leaves Thursday, I think. Oh, oh yeah, Thursday. All right. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Uh, so with that, we've come to the end of another exciting episode of the Patch and Switch program. Uh, thanks to everybody who's tuned in. Thanks for everybody who's participated in the chattiest chat room of all chat rooms. Uh, Jan, Wired Canuck, Buckeye Guy, J Flo, Defcon Veteran, uh, Vizio MVP, uh, Gay Shock as usual in the house. Uh, thanks for your uh, uh, your your stop mm -hmm. there. Continuing on. Uh, who else have we seen? Um, Defcon Veteran, did I did I mention you? Uh, have I mentioned Vizio MVP? Uh, Rip Torn. <laughs> Uh, in, in the room, we've we've lost we've totally lost the music, haven't we? Foul temper yeah. down the PX, the shadiest of pandas. Uh, uh, TRP eighty four seventy two. Hey, congratulations on your new job. Uh, wish you well in your new post. Hopefully, not on the Forest Moon event. Uh, everybody yeah. else participated. Back in a fortnight's time. We'll see you then. Everybody. Are you clipping again? It's it's when he plays. So I think when he plays the music thing.